The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, seems to be having a few issues. The $720 million mission is on hold while scientists try to determine why the system keeps rebooting. In fact, the MRO has had four computer resets this year before now. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, seems to be having a few issues. The $720 million mission is on hold while scientists try to determine why the system keeps rebooting. In fact, the MRO has had four computer resets this year before NASA scientists put the mode, the spacecraft has its solar arrays tracking the sun to allow additional communications and software uplinks. In a worse so close together that the MRO actually forgets that it's circling Mars and thinks that it's The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, seems to be having a few issues. The $720 million mission is on hold while scientists try to determine why the system keeps rebooting. In fact, the MRO has had four computer resets this year before NASA scientists put the spacecraft into safe mode. While in safe mode, the spacecraft has its solar arrays tracking the sun and communications antenna pointed at Earth to allow additional communications and software uplinks. In a worst case scenario, it would be possible for the computer resets to be so close together that the MRO actually forgets that it's circling Mars and thinks that it's back on Earth. In this scenario, the craft will attempt to communicate with a ground umbilical that is, well, no longer present. That would be one really long cable. While the exact root cause of the problem has not yet been isolated, NASA has stated that it is a hardware problem, specifically an issue in the command and data handling system. There's not much that can be done to fix the hardware, but software engineers are working on ways to ensure that the spacecraft is always aware that it is orbiting Mars and does not ever revert back to pre-launch configuration mode. The MRO has launched back in 2005 and completed its primary science objectives in November of 2008. Once repaired, the spacecraft will act as a communications relay station for the Spirit and Opportunity rovers, as well as be part of the overall communications architecture for Curiosity, which is slated to arrive in 2012. For more information and to continue the conversation, join us live this Friday at 2 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time. This week's guest is Robert Godwin from Apogee Books and is the author of The NASA Mission Reports and will be honoring the 40th anniversary of the Apollo 12 moon landing. For more information, visit our website at spacevidcast.com. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, seems to be having a few issues. The $720 million mission is on hold while scientists...